Shamrock FC Mayhem. That's going to be on March 12th at the River City Casino. Hitman, how's, how's it going this evening? Doing great. How are you? Ah, uh, man, no complaints, no complaints. You're going to be a part of the main event there that night there at the River City Casino against Cal Kurtz. Uh, you know, been a little bit time since you've been in the MMA cage, so any fear of any ring rust as far as MMA goes when you're heading hit, hit into the main event here in March? No, no, I, I'm not worried about any ring rust. You know, I, I feel like if you, uh, if you train as hard as you can, you know, ring rust really shouldn't affect you. Well, it shouldn't really affect you in that regards because, you know, 2015 you might not have done any MMA fights, but you did a lot of boxing, so it's not like you weren't active at all. Yeah, I had, I had a few boxing fights in 2015. You know, not a ton, but I think two or three. Uh, so I, I was still active, still, still working out, still staying in, in reasonable shape and you know, taking a couple fights here and there. Now, here with this fight with Cal, you guys were actually supposed to fight last year, uh, but that fell through. Um, you know, is there is there any sort of rivalry between you two that the fans should maybe anticipate since, like, this was supposed to fight possibly in, happen in Bellator last year. That didn't happen. So now it's going to happen the first quarter here for Shamrock. Uh, what should the fans expect when you two get in the cage? Um, I, I think they should expect fireworks. You know, I, the reason, uh, you know, we've won this fight with Kyle is because we think it's a great matchup, you know, to make a great fight. You know, that everybody's going to enjoy watching. You know, I, I, I think he's going to, you know, stand up with me, and we're going to, uh, you know, both stand there and try and knock each other out. You know, and stand-up is something you're definitely uh, proficient in. Uh, like I said, you have an extensive background in both boxing and kickboxing. Um, you know, what got you into all these different type of martial arts and, and to where you're actually still competing in almost everything at once? Uh, yeah, you know, I've, uh, I've always... Um, I've always loved, you know, physical sports. You know, I played football in high school. I was very physical when I played basketball in high school. Um, you know, I, I couldn't play in college, so uh, one of my friends took me to uh, one of Jesse Finney's fights, you know, way back in 1999. And then in 2000, I started training kickboxing, and, you know, I've been fighting ever since. Well, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, you know, how much longer do you think you want to actually, you know, pursue or be in, you know, both of these? I mean, are you going to try to do any boxing here in 2016 or are you going to mainly mainly focus on MMA or are you going to try to still maybe blend both if they both present themselves? You know, I've, I've always kind of kind of never focused on one sport. You know, when I was boxing, I was kickboxing. When I was boxing, I was doing MMA. So I was always doing both at the same time, you know. At this point in my life, in my career, you know, I'm, I'm almost 36 years old. I want to give MMA a solid, solid shot before, you know, I, I retire from fighting. So, at this point, you know, it's on. It's 100% MMA all the time. That's all I want to do right now. You know, I'm going to f solely focus on that and, and see what I can do and see what I can make of my MMA career. And, you know, you got a great opportunity with Shamrock FC because we know, we know the relationship they have with Bellator. Uh, we know that they're they're putting on, you know, bigger events and more events. Uh, you know, talk about, because you've pretty much all your MMA fights have been with Shamrock. How important are they, not only to the regional scene in the Midwest, but what they can do as far as a bigger impact as MMA as a whole? Because we're starting to see a lot of these, you know, regional promotions not be as strong or be as prevalent as they once were years ago. Yeah, Shamrock FC is an awesome promotion. You know, they're really doing great for, for the fighters and the, you know, the uh, the area. You know, it, it's a big promotion. You know, they're feeding guys in the Bellator. Um, you know, they're also working with trying to get some guys in UFC. You know, it's a great organization. They put on, geez, I think they put on maybe 20 fights in a year now uh, between here and, and KC in the Midwest. So... It's a great promotion to be a part of, and, you know, they're just great guys to work with. Well, absolutely. Now, now, Hitman, who are you actually training with here for this camp, for this fight? Are you still uh, down with the same team there to Finney's Hit Squad, or are you mixing up a little bit? Well, I kind of split time. You know, I opened my own gym, um, Hit Squad O'Fallon in, in O'Fallon, Missouri. So I train part of the time at my gym, but I still, um, I still drive about 30 minutes each way to train at Finney's MMA. And I train with, you know, so we got some great guys over there. Uh, Adam Sella, Joaquin Buckley, Luigi Favirvante. 
um, Josh Wesson, Ryan Sutton. You know, we got a whole crew of, of awesome fighters from Israel. Uh, Rob, Robert Washington, fighting tight, tight, and, you know, great group of guys. Well, absolutely. Well, we're going to get the chance to see you in action here on March 12th again. Shamrock FC Mayhem. You're part of the main event. Uh, we do know that these tickets for these fights go fast. I know uh, uh, Shamrock actually has a card here on February 20th. Those tickets are sold out. Uh, I do know from hearing from the people there in the PR department for Shamrock for the fight here in March, those tickets are getting close to being going. So, again, uh, make sure you get your tickets and get your ticket information at shamrockfc.com. Uh, Hitman, man, give a shout out to the sponsors helping you get ready here for the fight. Uh, I just want to thank a couple of my sponsors, uh, Metro Logistics, Diablo Ink Tattoo, and Image Auto Sales. Those are my guys. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, again, man, you're going to put on a show here in the main event against Cal Kurtz, March 12th, Shamrock FC Mayhem. Best of luck here in the fight, man, and we look forward to seeing you uh, give that MMA a, a big push here in 2016. Thank you. I appreciate it.